opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The modern defense plays g6 to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up for more development. d6 controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. And c3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. c6 controls b5 and d5 at the cost of taking the c6 square away from the b8 knight. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This pins a knight to the king. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This loses a pawn. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a blunder. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. This is a fair move. It is good. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is good. This wins a knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This exposes an attack, threatening a knight. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This captures a vulnerable knight. It is best. This misses an opportunity to capture a pawn that was threatening to win material. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This steps away from the checking pawn. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. This leads to losing a pawn. This threatens to win a queen. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a mistake. This loses a pawn. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. It is a blunder. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to win material. This is the only good move. 
it is a great move. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. 